Hi, I'm Scott Moss with North 40 Outfitters. I work at the West Side Great Falls store. And working in the camping section, one of the questions I get is, well, I have this stove, I have these pots, like how do you make a kitchen? Like, because yeah, when you think about it, we're now making an outdoor kitchen. What I have come to after many, many a year of experiments on different containers and stuff is uh, I found this DeWalt toolbox. So first off, it's nice, sturdy construction. I can have it in the back of my truck. I can put it in my raft uh, and I wouldn't be afraid to uh, step on it, use it as a, uh, you know, a step to get up on top of my truck or if I had to in the raft. And the other thing I really like about it is it's got a gasket. And that's not gonna mean that it's 100% waterproof, but if you're driving for service roads, if you're just heck driving up and down the road in general, you get dust. So that'll keep the dust out and it makes me feel a little bit better when it's on my raft where if I get some splash over, it's not gonna ruin my paper towels or my coffee or anything else I have in here. So one of the reasons the toolbox makes a great camp kitchen is that it's designed to separate various tools of varying sizes and shapes. So in my lid tray, I've got my personal canteen cup. I've got my Sea to Summit Wilderness Wash. I've got some uh, instant cider packets. I've got little pour over coffees. I even have a little toothpaste for when you're done eating and it's time to talk to people. I have my uh, little six pack of spices. Again, from GSI, this company makes some of the best um, camping uh, kitchen stuff to help you organize and GSI is just a, it's a really good company. Um, so you can have six different spices, all nice and neat for that. I even have a little Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation butchering kit. So I have paring knives and you know, some little bit of carving knives and even one with a gut hook should I find myself needing to gut an animal like that or a fish. So we've got all that going on in here. Lighter, tongs, tums, and then a collection of utility, uh, utensils. My personal favorite, my Sea to Summit titanium spork the extra long size to get in the bottom of those freeze-dried meals. Make sure you get that one. My, uh, I don't even know when I acquired this pot grabber from MSR, but it's been with me for decades. And that's in there, all nice and neat. One neat little package. We've got our tray, boom, everything's done. Set that out of the way. And then now time for the clown show. Four liter pot two liter pot, paper bowls, paper plates, my Jetboil uh, Luna burner and extra cup. Full Jetboil Genesis system, Ziploc bags full of uh, toilet paper and I've already used up all my paper towels today so I gotta replenish this when I get home. All right, and then my other personal cooking you set up. So in here, I just have a simple titanium cup. Any, any old metal cup will do. I chose this size so that it would hold a four ounce uh, fuel canister. And then I have my stove stand for that. So I have two stoves in this kitchen box that run off of two different types of fuel so I'm never completely without. And I've got uh, scalability. I can just do something for me real quick or we can bust out something for the whole family. Okay, and finally, for when we're all done, the 20 liter collapsible kitchen sink. So I can fit my five liter pot in there. I can fit these pots in there and have my uh, nice little dirty dishwater in one neat little package and I can bring it at least 200 feet away from the river and dump it somewhere else. Because even though this is biodegradable soap, do not deposit directly into water source. So that's just my kitchen kind of as it goes and it changes, it fluctuates a little bit for utensils, for uh, any special meals that I've got planned. 
or, um, or whatever I've got going on. But I always have a, just a bare minimum uh, spork and a lighter. And you know, this lives in here. So as long as I've got this box, I know I've got a baseline of certain equipment. And oh, one other little thing, always extra Ziploc bags. Always, always, always. Like it, leftovers, um, small trash things, always extra Ziploc bags in there. So we just slide everything back down in here. All right, that's it. That's my camp kitchen. And it goes, like I said, it goes in the truck, it goes in the raft, and it's, <laughs> how big you wanna get, these DeWalt's are actually expandable, so you could add some of their other boxes on top of here if you were so inclined. Um, but I can fit enough in here for me and the family of four, depending on our menu and what we're getting into. So um, it's, sky's the limit, it's your imagination. It's um, your budget point, whatever you can find, but there's a lot of options in this little toolbox size if we kind of rethink how we want to use them. So, hope that helps. And if you got any questions, swing by your local North 40 and talk to one of our many experts there. See ya.